of the university maybe in comparison to a school for example in a school students can expect that teachers feed them the knowledge and that's pretty much straightforward but in a university things are different and in the LFC program is, um, specifically lecturers and teachers act as sort of facilitators of knowledge so they help students to think think about what they're learning and this facilitation of knowledge can take place in various modes. So through traditional lectures, for example, whether it's online or in person, also interaction with faculty members, interaction with practitioners, interaction with fellow students, both students within um, the LFC program and outside the LFC program. So through things like seminars, like the LFC lectures that we have, for example, and private study groups. So knowledge can be facilitated through like practical work experience, like the internships that we encourage students to go on and also reading and doing research. So ultimately like in a university, I see knowledge as being co-constructed by the faculty members and the teachers themselves, or the students rather. And it is the student's responsibility really to take care of his or her own learning development and like choices in the university. So I think when I think of the university, that's how I see the university. And I think in the LFC program as well, this is what we do. But what do you think about it, Annie? Yeah, I, I agree with everything that you said. And, and what you said, that's also brings us back to the history of the university as a learning institution, because universities, they do have a long, long history and they have been defined across the ages as sort of a community, community of learning, community of, of teachers and, and scholars and students. And as you said, I like the notion co-construction of knowledge, because when when students become university students, they are sort of invited to become members of an academic community. And what we do in the academic community is that we co-construct the knowledge. And that entails, of course, freedom. We talk about academic freedom, yeah. but then, as you said, there's also the responsibility. So the more active you are in constructing the knowledge for yourself, then presumably the more you learn. And one of the things that I also wanted to mention in this connection, and I think that resonates with what you said, is that uh, while the university, it's, we have Tampere University, but then it's also like the broader academic uh, community. So you have the disciplines, yeah. you have the journals, you have the other academics that are members of the academic community that are not necessarily yeah. there at your university, which is also maybe something... Uh, that differentiates the university from, from the school. And also, actually, if we talk about the Tampere University as such, there's a lot going on that the students are always welcome yeah. to join. Besides the classwork, stuff that's mandatory yeah. and compulsory for them, there are seminars, there are events, and so on and so forth. So joining the academic community mm -hmm. also means that you are welcome to, to join the other stuff that's going on and organized by, by Tampere University. And I would recommend that students are active there as well. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> It is really our superpower. Um, within the program, for example, our teaching is informed by research. And in some way also in the courses that students take, you have guest lecturers sometimes come in and they share their current research, whatever they're doing presently, the results. And so teaching is really informed by research within the faculty of management and business within the university as a whole, in fact. And in the LFC program, that's also something that we pride ourselves on, that we base our teaching on solid 
good academic research. And teachers constantly engage in research activities in their various fields as well. So if they're not only teaching, they're also doing research constantly while doing their teaching responsibilities or carrying out their teaching responsibilities. And this heavily influences their teaching. And for students also, they also carry out research and they are expected to carry out some amount of research while undergoing the LFC degree program. For example, when students um, write their course papers, they have to like do some research in order to come up with a really good quality um, course paper. And also the thesis, that's just based on research. We really encourage students to carry out research and just think innovatively also when it comes to the um, to gathering data, for example, for their thesis. And in the past, we had LSE students that really delve into that part and carry out good research. And some of them end up, you know, going on to do a PhD program. So at the end of the day, we can expect that some LSD students come out being fully fledged researchers also after the degree program. But yeah. what do you think about it? Uh, well, I, yeah, I, I fully, fully agree again. And, and, and that's true, of course, this being a master's degree, it also gives eligibility for PhD studies for the students. So for, for that reason as well, it's important that the teaching that we give uh, and what the teaching leans on that is research based, as you said. And I would also say that in, in the contemporary fake news environment, uh, this oh, yeah. is increasingly important as well, that we learn to sort of criticize the basis of knowledge and to see that the, the knowledge yeah. on which we base our claims that is research based, it's not random, but it's checked and, and double checked. Mm. And as you said, the students, they learn Learn to do research for themselves, but then also in coursework, we often emphasize the fact that the materials, the, the articles that the students rely on, they should be academic and peer reviewed. And the peer review process, of course, in, in academia is a way of checking that the, the knowledge is, is as valid as it can be. And of course, we also teach uh, students to, to become peer reviewers themselves. In the seminars, yeah, that's a really good point that you mentioned that students also learn to criticize other people's work. I mean, give um, valid criticisms to like someone's paper, for example, and learn to criticize with kindness and being constructive. And these are skills, these are research skills. So at the end of the day, students really end up being independent researchers themselves. And, like we said at the beginning, it's all dependent on the student, how they want to, they have to maintain or have the responsibility on how they learn in a university. Ultimately, they have that power and agency if we mm. want to use that word. We talk about research some people sometimes argue that academia is an ivory tower that we just do research for academic purposes and that there are no connections to the world out there what would you say on on that do you agree or disagree and and how does that show in in the way in which the lfc program is run for example well i would disagree that we're isolated from society i think um within the lfc program at least and i think really good universities within the teaching and research activities that take place it's important that knowledge is constructed in relation to the broader society like within the lfc program for example we maintain and cultivate connections with society so when we look at like different sectors of society, like NGOs, for example, activists, businesses, like public and private institutions. Um, we really do make a point of ensuring that our knowledge is constructed, looking at how these different sectors of society work. And we get students, students also get the opportunity to interact with these different sectors within the LFC program. For example, if we look at LFC lectures, where we have practitioners come in and they come from different sectors of the society, public institutions, NGOs, businesses. And these people, these representatives of 
for the society. They also help inform the students' knowledge in one way or the other. So not only is the knowledge and skills gained in the program cognizance of um, the broader society, and also the knowledge is valued and appreciated by the outside world. So given the challenges that we currently face in the world, for example, the climate crisis, the um, mig migrant crisis, the global health crisis, inequality, human rights issues, sustainability issues, just to name a few, there's loads of them. <laughs> and there is a critical need for evidence-based policy making and decision making, whether it be in the private sector or in the public sector. It's increasingly important that organizational leaders and our political leaders also and representatives make informed business and policy decisions. And in order to tackle these issues, they need to be like, it needs to be based on research. It needs to be based on the knowledge from research and not isolation. The university and the LFD program by extension plays a really crucial role in contributing to society through what we do, through the pursuit and the dissemination and application of knowledge. So I think we're not disconnected from the society and our research really count. Yeah, yeah, I, I would, yeah, I fully, I agree, I agree with you on that. And uh, what we also see, as you said, is that the research-based knowledge, the academic knowledge that is very much appreciated by the organizations that we cooperate with. So what they actually value in the cooperations with the university is the fact that the knowledge that we provide is it's academic, it is research-based. It's a busy world, so uh, the practitioners don't always have time to do research themselves. So what they really value when we do uh, different sorts of cooperations is the fact that the, the knowledge produced in, in academia and in university and LFC students through their coursework is based on research and in academic insights. Yeah, the case study course, for example, where students get to work with organizations. And if you think also with the internships also, not only do students gain knowledge in these organizations that they go to, they also like use their knowledge for the um, good of the organization. Um, and when we think about the thesis also, we've had students that write their thesis in connection with a company, if it's like, um, a commission thesis. And then you also have students that look at a company that they worked in before and kind of identify some, like a problem within that organization. And they tackle that with research while they're doing their thesis. So yeah, I think it, it would be mis misleading if we say that the university is somewhat isolated and the research that we carry out is just for academics. No, it, it is useful in broader society. Mm -hmm.